So first of all, if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store, you can also try steps from this video. The link is provided in the video description. I made a separate video if you are unable to launch the game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store. Now, the first step is to uncheck multiplayer pack one. So you can go to Steam if you have the game on Steam and then scroll down, select the game. And here you can see manage my DLC, click on it. And over here, make sure uh, you uncheck the box which says Black Ops 6 Multiplayer Pack 1. So you can uncheck it and then you can close this. If there is any update, let the update complete. And then once that is done, again make a right click, go to properties, um, sorry, uh, select the game and then scroll down and click on Manage DLC and put a check. Once again, you put a check on Multiplayer Pack 1 over here and then you can launch the game and then check. It will update. Once the update is complete, you can launch the game. Next step is to uncheck campaign. Now for this, you can go to Steam. If you don't want to play campaign, you can again go to Manage My DLC. Click on Manage My DLC and you can uncheck Black Ops 6 campaign. You can uncheck this and then you can let the update complete and then you can launch the game. Now the next step is to uncheck all except Black Ops 6. So make sure over here you put a check on Black Ops 6. So make sure Black Ops 6 is selected. The rest, you can uncheck it. Like if you have Modern Warfare 2, 3, Warzone, you can uncheck all these boxes. Make sure only Black Ops 6 is selected. And once update is complete over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have the game on Battle.net, you can do the same thing. You can go to Game Settings and then you can click on uh, Modify Install and then click on modify install over here and first of all try the first one you can uncheck multiplayer pack one or you can uncheck multiplayer so if you see multiplayer uh, pack one for black ops 6 i don't have the game on uh, battle.net if you have the game you may find that option you can uncheck it and then you can check it once again and then check you can uncheck campaign in battle.net for the game and then you can launch the game and then check you can uncheck all except black ops 6 so make sure only black ops 6 and base game is checked the rest you can uncheck everything and then you can confirm it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to change the language uh, in steam you can make a right click on the game select properties and you can go to uh, general tab over here you can see english so you can change change to some different language and uh, once you change it to some different language there will be an update let the update complete and then once it is done again go to properties and then switch back to the original language whichever language you want you can set, set it to english in my case it's english and then you can let the update complete and then you can launch the game next step is to restart steam or battle.net and run it as an administrator so you can go to steam you can click on steam over here click on exit and once it is closed now you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator do the same thing for battle.net you can close battle.net once you close battle.net you can again type in battle.net in windows search box make a right click on battle.net and then click on run as administrator and then you can launch the game next step is to uncheck compatibility from steam and game exe file so you can just type in steam in windows search box first of all close steam if steam is running close it now once you close steam you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on open file location again make a right click on steam and then click on open file location this time make a right click on steam and then select properties go to this tab and if this option is checked you can uncheck this box uncheck it hit apply click on ok and do the same thing with the game exe file make a right click on the game exe, uh, game manage browse local files and then select the game exe file so find the game exe file in the list in my case the game is still downloading so in your case you will find all the exe file over here so if you find the exe file over here uh, uncheck yep for example you have to try to open each folder and check and find the exe file now once you find the exe file uh, in my case it's still downloading this is just an example once you uh, find the exe file 
make a right click on the game exe file go to this tab if the if this box is checked you can uncheck it and then launch the game so do the same thing with steam and the game exe file all the game exe file and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so you can go to st um, make a right click on the game manage browse local files go to the game installation folder and then you can launch the game from here so find the game exe file just make a double click on the game exe file and try to launch the game from here and also you can disable full screen optimization for example uh, if you have the game on battle.net you can open and then you can open and find the game exe file now once you find the game exe file and you can just make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then you can go over here put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game you can also try to run the game as an administrator put a check over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here so try to run the game as an administrator also you can try full screen optimization so now the next step is to verify or repair the game files now if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game similarly if you have the game on battle.net you can click over here go to game settings um no sorry click over here and then click on scan repair and once the repair is complete you can launch the game and then check next step is to now when you launch the game if you receive a prompt uh, to launch the game in safe mode you can try safe mode and then check also allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you're using windows security then okay, open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app now click on browser apps go, go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive if you have the game on steam you can open program files x86 and then uh, you can open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder and select all the exe file open cod 23 if you have cod 24 open all the exe uh, open all the folder and find the exe file add all the exe file over here now if you have the game on battle.net wherever the game is installed um, in my case it is installed in c drive you can open select all the exe file add an allowed app browse all apps open all the exe file so select all the exe file one by one add all the exe file over here and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so in steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try dash d3 d11 and launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to now if you have the game on battle.net you can just uh, click over here and then uh, click on game settings over here and put a check over here and do the same thing try dash dx11 over here launch the game and then check if that does not work just once you do it just click on done over here if that does not work you can try dash d3 d11 and then check only one single dash over here and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 over here and then click on done and launch the game it's still not working you can remove this from here and then you can uncheck this box and then follow the next step now the next step is to try different region in battle.net launcher you can go to the game over here if it is set to america you can try europe asia asia so try to set different region and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia 
So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to rename the Call of Duty folder in Documents folder. So you can open File Explorer in computer and then go to Documents over here. And over here you can see Call of Duty. Now when you rename it, uh, rename this folder, all the save progress will be lost. So all the game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, you can rename this folder. So make a right click on the Call of Duty folder and then click on rename and then you can rename it. If you want to create a backup, you can just copy this file and then you can put it in the desktop or anywhere else. Just create a backup and then you can rename this .old or whatever you want. Once, once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then you can open go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed you can select all the exe file over here click on add and again click on add a desktop app open this retail open whichever each folder you can open and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added, now you can find the game in the list. So here you can see the game. You can click on the game and then over here you can select high performance and your graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Select high performance over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down. You will see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22 over here. You have to download this x86 and x64 file. So download both the file and then install both the file. So download x86, x64. Once the download is complete, run both the exe file. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect. If you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. If you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, you can turn it off and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience running, go to GeForce Experience settings and turn off in-game overlay. So, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of overclocking application like MSI, Afterburner, Reward Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also, if you have any third-party services running or any application running third-party software, close it. Also, if you are under voltage computer, remove the under volt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then find the latest BIOS and update your BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure charge is your battery charge. Battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or F drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.